Oh my god, it's what is going on? First, my phone's ringing. Oh, I need that. I'm not putting that there. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be putting in another one of these USB socket things. You know, the, uh, the one that I did in the back where I placed the cigarette lighter. Basically that's the only USB charging I've got in the car, which is, or the van, whatever, which is right in the back. And it's a pain, so I'm going to be fitting this. Again, I don't need that cigarette lighter. I don't smoke. I have no, like, things that use the uh, cigarette lighter attachment thing. I know some of you have got pumps and stuff. Uh, like air pumps or whatever that you can plug in, but I haven't. I don't use any of that. I, everything I have is USB, pretty much. So I'm going to be putting this in the front. Um, it's like a two thing, two socket um, USB port, quick charge, three amp. Questionably, whether it is or not, I don't know. The last one I did did give me fast charging on the uh, on the phone, so that's good enough. So, let's get to the bongo. So I've got another one of these sort of things. Um, it's a bit different to the one that's uh, in the back over there. But um, it's got like a voltage uh, monitor thing, display. Goes around the outside, LEDs. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to ditch this thing. Oh wow, look. Stickers there. You can't see that from uh, the driver's position. Anyway, I'm hoping that is going to go in that hole. If I pull it all out, it should hopefully go in there. I'm purely guessing that that's going to be the right size. It looks roughly right. So we'll look, sort of line it up a little bit. It might fit, don't know. But I'm going to pull this out and see. I'm going to keep it in uh, some sort of good order, just in case it doesn't or something goes wrong. But that's the plan. Let's give it a go. Obviously make sure you disconnect your battery before you do this. You want to start shoving metal bits in, electrical bits and stuff. All that sort of stuff doesn't mix very well. The uh, the outer part there of these is the ground or the negative. And the bit in the middle at the bottom, that is the positive or the 12 volt. Oh, that's really in there. The uh, Filming is being done on the phone today because it's freezing, it's like gale force winds, hurricanes or whatever it is, storm Eunice. And I can't be bothered to go and get the camera, I just don't want to go back inside so I'm doing it on the phone, hopefully it doesn't look too bad. God this is being a pig. I bet it's like, I bet you're all watching this going, why don't you just do it the proper way? And the answer is because I don't know the proper way, as always with this channel. I'm making it up as I go along. Haha! -ha. There we go. Right, there's the little connector. Exactly the same by looks of it as the one that we had um, in the back. Cigarette lighter, like an L-shaped little connector thing. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to try to without oh, blowing myself up. Oh, bit of dust in there. Oh, lovely. Now, if I remember rightly, last time I had to cut these. You guys can just click the little uh, thing up. Up uh, there. Somewhere. And that will show you the one that we did in the back. But for this one, I can't remember what we did. Um, there's not a lot of slack on there either. There's like some cables like a loom behind oh no i dropped it in don't fall in there uh. <clears throat> right i did not want that to happen it's gone in come back out oh right that's good i don't want that ah nice let's get rid of that tell you what let's just push it in there we go it's out of the way now now let's try and see 20 quid says and it doesn't fit because that is my luck. I'm just gonna wait. No, I need that. Ready? Place a comment below if you think it's gonna fit. 
Have you done it? Here we go. Oh no, it doesn't fit. Gutted. Oh, I'm gonna have to go and get the drill. Things never go straight forward, do they? I'll go and get the drill. We'll widen that hole again. It's pretty much exactly the same procedure as the last uh, thing we did in the back. So we're gonna go and grab a drill. If you've been watching this channel for long enough, you'll know that we love a bodge on here. If you can't get the right bit, improvise, adapt and overcome, as they say. Or, in this case, bodge it. Oh, that is pretty much... Do you know what? Oh, I'm going to call that it, actually. Because... I don't really want to have to try and fish this little lock nut up behind the dash. Whereas at the minute it's quite snug, so I could just push fit that into place. So let me get some wiring for it. So I'm going to try and get that to go down to this fuse board somehow. Let's thread that through there. Might have to get it from the other side. See ya. Gotcha. Basically, I need to connect that ring to the cable, so I might cut that off and put another joint, different joint on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's try. Cable strippers. Get that nice and straight. And then just cut the out sheaf off, exposing the two inner cores. And then strip the brown, strip the blue. So that's ready for a couple of ends. Let's cut this off. In fact, yeah, I need to do that on this one because I can use this little inline fuse thing still. Strip that as well. So that's ready to be jointed to that. The black, I might as well. The black even, the blue. There's the ring. I might as well just put a uh, female spade on there and just connect that straight on, be easier. Uh, if I've got some, I think I've got some. Okay, I haven't got any barrel crimps. So it's having another trusty little Wago connector. Slot that in there. Close the lever. Next one. It's in there. Nice and snug. And then the spade connector onto there. Lovely. So that's ready to install in there now. But I'm going to uh, connect it this end first. My phone's ringing. All right. So I've stripped ends of this cable and now I'm just gonna undo this for a ground and then pick a circuit say that one will do and then I haven't got any of those little fork connector things so all I'm gonna do is split these like that trim them down a little bit and then that can go and just slot into there that's not very good let's do that again <clears throat> now ideally you should go and get the uh, the little crimp things because like you can see there it's not a hundred percent but it's on there for now I might go and I might order some online and just because they're all the same so if I go and get a bag of them oh that's rubbish that's just gonna come out 
Tell you what, change of plan. Whoopsie. Let's go for a different approach. Let's get a bit more cable. this stuff there we go what we're going to do instead again this is only temporary so don't shoot me down in the comments spin that up Screw around there. And then screw that in there. So hopefully it should grip a bit better. I've done it with the curl with the the screw direction, so as you do it up, it pulls it in tighter, it doesn't push it out sort of thing, if that makes any sense. Now I've got to do the same with this one. Going. So that little light's just come on because it can see that there's a, uh, a ground to that circuit and it knows that the uh, fuse is blown, or in this case there isn't one. So I need to go and grab a fuse, pop that in there. Like I'll say I'm going to order some in a minute, those fork connector things. I think I'll redo all these like that one so it's a bit more safe. But yeah, let's crack on. Okay, I've never used one of these, so I don't actually know what I'm doing. Right, I've got to get all this mess down here now. So, a little fuse in there, push, and then hopefully that should. Oh, uh, where's my little cover? Do I need that? I don't think I really need that, do I? It's just gonna. That's rubbish. Let's put that. Nice and straight, is that straight? I think so. Spot on. That's good. I'm happy with that. What do you reckon? Let's go and give it a test run, my charger cable. Right, I'm not really sure what's happened, but it's just started to uh, to snow. No idea. Um, oh, hang on, get my cable. Right, so, cable. USB, just plug that in there, and what happens if you, oh yeah, right, so there we go, 12.6, and it is showing on my leisure battery voltage, which is freaking out the camera, 12.6, so that works, oh my god, it's, what is going on, look at that, it was literally like blue skies and sunshine a minute ago. And now it's snowing. Or hail, whatever it is. Crazy. Anyway, right. We're going to crack on. So, let's plug that in there. Okay. Let's get the other end. And let's plug that into there. Right, I don't know if that's showing on the camera. Fast charging. There we go. So 15 minutes until it's fully charged. Hopefully you can hear me because it's literally like a hailstorm now. Crikey. Oh, uh, that lights up too. Oh, that's quite cool. The other one didn't do that. That must mean it's charging. It's obviously got a resistive load on the end. So it knows... So if I push off and it's still charging, that's weird. So maybe the on off isn't for the socket, maybe it's just for the flashing light. Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, not to worry, because if I want to turn it off, I'll just do this. There you go, I'm not charging anymore. Look at that, it's fully snowing outside. How weird is that? Turn it 
two strange things have happened today. Putin has invaded Ukraine and we have snow on the Isle of Wight. Right, well that's it. Where are you? Hopefully you can see me through this storm of sorts. That's it anyway, so it's in. Um, I'll probably just run that cable I don't know, I'll dress it in somehow so that I can plug my phone into there and then it unplugs itself. We're charging? Yes we are. So I've just had a little thought or an idea or an epiphany, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Come back a little bit. I really need to clean this, it's pretty grim. Right, I've had a thought. Oh, I need that, I'll put them right there. I'm thinking I might be able to run a cable from that fuse board down there, the ledge battery, along here with another one of those charging sockets in here, like drilled in, but with like a couple of spay connectors so that when I only take this off, which is quite a lot, I'll just unplug it and it sort of uh, just flops out of the way. I don't know if it's going to be a pain or not. Or I could even, oh no, that'd be even better. Put it there. But no, I've got one there actually. It's more for the people in the back. Shall I do that? Or will it just be a pain. What do you think? Leave a comment below if you think I should put one there for the people behind or if it's going to be a pain like for people uh, people for when I'm taking this off I have to keep unplugging it but if I use those spade connectors like the other one it should just pull off the uh, the socket. Leave a comment below let me know what you think. Lovely. Right, on that note, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all on the next video.